Hey everyone, it's Athena. I'm back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add more information to your page and your info box and how to create multiple images and make them look nice. The first thing I need to do, of course, is to make the page. So, of course, I'm just going to do that. And once this is loaded, all you need to do is go to Insert Info Box. And then you're going to use the character one. Every single wiki has its own basic character. For example, the Ghost Force wiki has the Infobox character, as you can see from here, generated from Infobox, Infobox character. So if I was going to add another Infobox, I would click on Infobox character. Now, I'm going to choose the character one for us and just fill out some information like gray eyes female. Now, once you're done with that, you are going to go to your image. So, I'm going to have this in my description. You're going to copy and paste this. So, you're going to just velcro that, right, and apply. All you need. Now, you're going to insert an image. For most of you, you're going to have to upload it from your device. It has to already be on the wiki. So you need to upload it. It'll go through some things. You'll give a description. And now, if you were to go to the images tab on your wiki, you can go to explore images and there's all the images that have been uploaded recently so i have already uploaded these images the first one i'm gonna do is this one use this image and i'm just gonna copy the name exactly i'm gonna cancel edit go to Images, command velcro. And I'm going to say, yeah, Kayla in fighting clothes. Apply. You're not going to see anything yet. Now, my second image, I'm going to use this one. Use this image. Once again, copy the name. Edit, um, image, command velcro, Ayla, dress, up. Now, we're completely done with that. You're not going to see anything yet, and you're going to be like, oh, this isn't working. So you have to go into source editing here, and you have to go and click enter so that all that stuff is below where gallery is now go back to visual editing and you'll find right here you've got your images now if you want to add more information now to your info box i'm gonna add a birth date march 18th 2002, 18 years old. Birthplace, Harrison. Um, name is Ayla Owens. Occupation is assassin. I'm going to do relatives. Now, if you want to make a bulleted list, you're going to go Shift 8 so you can get an asterisk. So, Knox Owen. Again, um, unknown mother. Unknown. Unknown. Grandmother and 
unknown grandfather. Species is human. Weight is unknown. Apply. Now, your images have disappeared. It's not permanent. All you have to do is go back into source editing, go here, and press delete, and it will go back. It will delete what you when you pressed enter, and when you go back into visual editing, there your images will be. And you're just going to hit save, and there you have it, your info box with your images. And your perfectly bulleted list. Now, if you want to add more information on the side, all you have to do, it's really simple, you have to insert text. I'm going to say history. Personality. Powers and abilities. Right? And now in the history and personality, I'm going to say nice. We can add way more information. History, daughter of ah, Knox Owen. Powers and abilities, assassin. Save. And... There you go, your finished page. You can edit any of this anytime. Remember that when you're editing your info box, when you make even a small change in your text, I'm going to say port of Harrison, your images will disappear. You have to go back into source editing and just go between deleting and backspacing and deleting or whatever and you will have your images i hope this was helpful for anybody who needs it have a wonderful day guys